so today is january 23rd yeah and i am dealing with like a surplus of health stuff that i feel like has been going on forever and i'm just really ready to just move on with life but that just seems like it's wanting to be incredibly difficult so as you can see i am retaining like a crazy amount of fluid in my stomach like it's ridiculous i'm at 190 pounds i have never never been 190 pounds and i don't eat enough to get to 190 pounds like i literally will eat in spurts like maybe two to three days I will binge and the rest of the week I won't eat hardly anything maybe one time a day the rest of the day I just drink water so now when I drink water to try to freaking stay hydrated it just pools in my stomach and in my legs and in my arms and in my face um, my face will get really puffy but the majority of it is in my stomach and in my legs and for some reason, you would think that I am asking to decipher like the Da Vinci Code with doctors. Why do we not have answers for what this is? Why is this occurring? They just gave me some diuretics and they were like, you know, and even with the diuretics, it's not taking this out. <sighs> do you know how super uncomfortable it is like it feels like a a rock sitting inside of my stomach <sighs> i'm just over it i'm super fatigued um <sighs> my hair is falling out Probably a combination of stress and freaking intivio. I was doing methotrexate. So I had some weird skin rash going on. These little bumps just came up and they itch and then I just get itchy all over and then they just leave these marks. They took a biopsy from the dermatologist. I haven't heard back from them, so I don't know. My GI doctor wants to do an MRI again on the 30th, just so he can tell me that everything is normal. Like, I'm... I don't know. I'm literally trying so super hard to just move forward and stay positive, you know, but you know, it's 2019. I got I got sick when I was 15. I'm 26 years old. And I'm like just stuck in this I don't know, this loop of things happening and there there's no resolution there's no you know solution to anything you know it's just a, a well, I don't know <laughs> anyway so then I found out that there's a um I don't know my EK ECG came back like abnormal abnormal T wave ECG and when I had that done back in May of last year <laughs> the freaking people in the ER were like oh everything's normal as usual but it wasn't so as a kid I was seeing a cardiologist 
regularly who told me at the time that I had supraventricular tachycardia, uh, mitral valve prolapse, and um, something else. And then I found out when I was like 16 that I had dysautonomia, for which there was no really cure, they didn't do any really anything about. They put me from different kinds of beta blockers. Um, and then when I got into the adult world, they were just like, good luck. <laughs> So I ended up having to like cut my hair off because my hair was dying. Um, it's just like super thin at the top now. It's just spots where like it's come out. Literally, I just just the I, just the stress. Everyone's like, "Oh, meditate. Oh, you know, do yoga. Oh, exercise." Well, I'd love to do that if I had the energy to do it. But you know, it's like if I take out the trash, that's it. You know, that's it for me. That's that's the rest of my energy for the day. What did you do today? I took out the trash, and now I feel like I ran an 800 meter dash. Like, Tell you what though, I know and I feel it that um, this year is a year of justice and I, I do feel that I will get justice on this and um, I don't know. I just think it's really shitty, you know, for people in our situation chronic illnesses, Crohn's disease, any kind of IBD, um, hypermobile ligaments, um, you know, so I'm still trying to walk normal from my knee reconstruction and then uh, had that biopsy done so I have stitches in me now right here. Um, Okay, no, I'm with it.